New information in the panhandle tonight, less than 24 hours after OSBI recovered two bodies and arrested four people facing kidnapping and murder charges during the weekend. All of this coming two weeks after the disappearance of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. Fox 25's Katie Arata following this case and Katie were officials able to identify the victims. Well, Adam, the OSBI says the chief medical examiner is still working to identify those victims and determine their cause of death, but they cannot confirm if those bodies found yesterday belong to Kelly and Butler yet, but they did say there is no hope that the two missing women are still alive. The OSBI, FBI, the Texas County Sheriff's Office, and the Texas County DA spoke with media this morning, addressing recent developments in the case of two missing Kansas women, 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly, who disappeared in the Oklahoma Panhandle in late March. As you all know, we have been working very diligently for the last two weeks to bring closure to the families. Um, this has been challenging for everybody involved. The Texas County Sheriff says despite concern, they did not feel that the public was in danger. I think from the from the get go, once we arrived on scene that and, and we gained a little bit of information that we, we felt this wasn't a random bill. All right. We uh, we felt that with some of the information coming in that it was it was more targeted and we started started to look in those those areas that we were pointed to. Over the weekend, OSBI arrested four individuals who are facing kidnapping, murder, and conspiracy charges in connection to the woman's disappearance. OSBI wouldn't say how the four were connected to Butler and Kelly, but court documents show Tiffany Adams is the paternal grandmother of Butler's children and Tad Cullum is Adams' boyfriend. Based on the evidence and the information we were able to obtain throughout the entire investigation, what was found inside of, of the vehicle, witnesses, family, friends of the victims that we were able to talk to throughout this entire process, we were able to gain the information to determine that um, that these four people were responsible for both of these women going missing. Yesterday, OSBI recovered two bodies in rural Texas County, and they are now waiting for the chief medical examiner to identify them and determine their cause of death before moving forward in their investigation. And two GoFundMe pages have been set up to help the families of the two missing women. If you'd like to donate, we have links on our website, okcfox.com.